Hey guys, I'm a fish guy here doing a viewer request. Now someone's asking me, well, you tried to make money only by selling the fish in your fish room and then you only buy what you sell. So do you do that with the pond? The answer is yes. This year I have been doing that. What I'm doing this year is I started off with, I believe maybe 20 to 30 guppies in here and I'm wanting to see how they would do. Now, depending on how close you look, you can see the little specks, little guys swimming around. It might be a little hard to see because they're in that juvenile stage right now. There we go, there's a whole school of them. Now what I do with these is I have roughly about 100 to 150 of these guys in here. Now what I do at the end of the season, and that's usually around mid-September, end of September, depending on the temperatures, I sell these guys on Craigslist once I pull them all in. Now I've been emptying out the pond every year, taking all the goldfish inside, took the platies inside, sold all those guys. And this year I'm going to do the same thing with the guppies, but these guys are going to sell a lot quicker. Just because of any test I've done in the past with guppies, they sell like hotcakes. So what I do is I sell 20 guppies for 10 bucks. Now pretty much what that does, by the end of the season, I'm hoping to have roughly about 200 to maybe 300 guppies in this pond. So roughly, you put 200 guppies, say I have, I sell them 20 for $10, roughly about $100. Now that pays for all of these guys plus a lot more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in a separate bank account for next year for pond season and pretty much do the same thing. Now I'm gonna go a little bit more creative with my smaller pond and maybe do a cichlid pond and leave this one to the live bears. And that way I can make a little bit more of a pretty penny on this. Now with the electric and everything, it's pretty much nothing running this pump in the UV sterilizer, so that's really not an issue at all. Other than that, pretty much everything else is supply-wise has come from around my property. So that makes everything a heck of a lot cheaper in the long run. So again, if you want to make some money off your pond, put some live bears in it, make sure that the water, I started mine off at 68 degrees and those guys all did perfectly fine. Nothing so far has been eating them, and if they do, it's only one or two at a time with just the one bullfrog that's in here. And what's nice about this pond is it pretty much has live food available at all time, whether it's mosquito larva, microorganisms, or anything such like that. So again, if you want to make some money off your pond, stick a couple live bears in it, and pretty much just let them go. At the end of the season, dig them out, sell them, trade them into a pet store, uh, pretty much do whatever. Now another thing you can do that I was looking at doing, like I said, is doing a cichlid pond and taking small cichlids and pretty much just growing them out. Pretty simple, basic, and just kind of hoping they breed. And at the end of the season, sell the big guys and get a couple little guys for the size of the big guy. So again, if you want to make some money with your pond, that's my method on how to do it. Like I said, last year I believe I made roughly about $80, and I paid for everybody plus money left over to basically finish off the fish room to what it is now. So hopefully this year I'm hoping to make $100 to $200 off these guppies and pretty much pay for everything that I do next year on the pond. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that that you do to help pay for your hobby, post down below in the comments below. And uh, thank you for watching.